Okay, today is day 19. Oops, it's not. It's actually day 20. And Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. I have to be 100% honest. I'm not connecting with today's message at all. It's once a week, write a heartfelt letter. I'm going to read it, but I'm not going to lie. I don't know why I'm just not connecting with this one. So, But I still want to share it because somebody out there might be connecting with it. So once a week, write a heartfelt letter. This is an exercise that has helped to change many lives, assisting people in becoming more peaceful and loving. Taking a few minutes each week to write a heartfelt letter does many things for you. Picking up a pen or typing on a keyboard slows you down long enough to remember the beautiful people in your life. The act of sitting down to write helps to fill your life with gratitude. Once you decide to try this, you'll probably be amazed at how many people appear on your list. I had one client who said, I probably don't have enough weeks left in my life to write everyone on my list. This may or may not be true for you, but chances are there are a number of people in your life or from your past who are quite deserving of a friendly, heartfelt letter. Even if you don't have people in your life to whom you feel you can write, Go ahead and write the letter to someone you don't know instead, perhaps to an author who may not even be living, whose works you admire, or to a great inventor or thinker from the past or present. Part of the value of the letter is to gear your thinking toward gratitude. Writing the letter, even if it isn't sent, would do just that. The purpose of your letter is very simple, to express love and gratitude. Don't worry if you're awkward at writing letters. This isn't a contest from the head, but a gift from the heart. If you can't think of much to say, start with little short notes like, Dear Jasmine, I woke up this morning thinking of how lucky I am to have people like you in my life. Thank you so much for being my friend. I am truly blessed and I wish for you all the happiness and joy that life can bring. Love, Richard. Not only does writing and sending a note like this focus your attention on what's right in your life, but the person receiving it will, in all likelihood, be extremely touched and grateful. Often, this simple act starts a spiral of loving actions whereby the person receiving your letter may decide to do the same thing to someone else or perhaps will act and feel more loving towards others. Write your first letter this week. I'll bet you'll be glad you did.